Family Guy is an animated TV series about an overweight American idiot and his family. And though that may sound like a rip-off of The Simpsons, it really isn't. While The Simpsons clearly inspired the show, the tone of Family Guy and the characters are very different and rather unique. After all, how many shows have talking dogs and a baby whose dream is to be a famous dictator? And this video is going to go over the main cast of the show, namely Peter, Lois, Chris, Stewie, Meg and Brian, and discuss their potential lantern cores. Now, for those who don't already know, lantern cores are organizations that have power rings that give their wearers superpowers, and these rings are powered by different emotions. And in order to wield one of these rings, you have to have a strong connection to the emotion that powers it. And the different lantern cores are fear, love, avarice, will, hope, compassion, and rage. And there are also two other lantern cores, the black lantern core of death and the white lantern core of life and the new lantern core of the ultraviolet light. Though no one knows exactly what motion powers this particular lantern core, it is believed to be shame. And with that out of the way, let's get on with it. Peter. Now, when it comes to Peter, I wish I could say that he belongs in the love or compassion lantern cores, since he's supposed to be a family guy and care about his family. But in truth, he doesn't really seem to care about them at all. There are moments of him caring in the early seasons, though these were overshadowed by a lot more moments of his not caring, and as the show has gone on, he seems to care less and less about his family. In fact, it's become quite apparent that the thing that he loves the most is himself, which is in part why he should be in the Orange Lantern Corps of Avarice, and the other part is because he's just a greedy son of a bitch. Not to body shame him, but just look at the size of him, and you can see just how greedy he is. He is simply selfish and self-centered. True, he does have his moments of caring about his family and some small sacrifices here and there. But that's just it, they're only moments. Whereas his greed is a constant. All he cares about is his own enjoyment and eating and drinking as much as possible. I'm not having a go at him, I'm just stating what his character is like. So really, Avarice is the only lantern core for him. Lois. Much like Marge Simpson, Lois is all about her family. She is the yin to Peter's yang, and while he only cares about himself, she only cares about them. She is the one who looks after and takes care of the family, which is why the only core for her is the Star Sapphire Lantern Core of Love. True, she has had some anger issues over the years, and has also been quite violent in some episodes. But these are only really one-offs and just done for comedic effect here and there, and they're very much in the minority whereas her love far outweighs this. And really, for her, there's no other choice. The Violet Lantern Corps is just simply for her. Stewie. Some characters are so easy to put in Lantern Corps that you just instantly know where to place them. And this is one such character. Stewie is an evil, super genius bent on world domination. And as such, there really is only one option. The Sinestro Lantern Corps of Fear. This not only matches his personality perfectly, but it is exactly the Lantern Corps that he would want to be in. And the only requirement to be in this core is being able to instill great fear. And I think we can all agree that if Stewie was actually real, then we would all be terrified of him. And if you weren't, then you'd either be lying or you'd be an idiot. So it's the Sinestro Corps for him. Meg. Now, Meg's role on the show went from cast regular to occasional character to barely even on the show, to the point where episode after episode goes by without her even being seen outside of the opening credits scene. And because of this, it's kind of hard to know which core she should be in, as we don't really see a lot of her. But after much thought, I realised that there really are only two options that make sense. The first is the Red Lantern Core, because as we all know, Meg has a great deal of rage and resentment built up inside of her. And this comes from the daily abuse she gets, and just the general terrible way in which she is continually treated. Not only by the world around her, but also by her family, those who are closest to her and are actually meant to be on her side. So it's a rage which is fully justified. So the Red Lantern Core of Rage makes perfect sense for her and could 100% work. But in the episode where Meg is violently letting out her anger, she ultimately lets go of it. I can't believe I did this. I was just so tired of being everyone's whipping girl that it felt kind of good to do some of the whipping. So although she qualifies, she probably wouldn't want the ring, as she doesn't really want to be the angry, scary, violent person. I mean, most of us don't, even though we do have a lot of anger, because it's not exactly a good character to be. 
Which brings us to the second option, which is of course, the Lands and Core of Shame. Because not only is everyone on the show truly ashamed of Meg's existence, but a large part of her character is her lack of confidence and her self-loathing. In short, she is constantly ashamed of herself just as the world is, so this core makes perfect sense. And though she qualifies for either of these two rings, I think the one that makes more sense for her is shame. Because as I've said, as the show has gone on, it has hated Meg more and more and more. And to say that they're ashamed of her is a perfect description of what's been happening. So this core seems to be for her, both on how she feels herself and on how the world sees and treats her. Chris. When I try to work out what Lands and Core a character should be in, one of the first things I try to do is define a character's personality. All I can really say about Chris is that he's an idiot, though usually a happy idiot. And he doesn't display much in the way of emotion. He rarely did when the show started, but as it's gone on, he's displayed less and less. As these types of show do, as they try to get rid of character development and emotional moments in lieu of just having more jokes. And all that's really happened with Chris is that he's just gotten more and more stupid. I mean, he has fallen in love a few times, but I don't think it's his dominant emotion, or even a strong enough type of love to qualify for the Star Sapphire Core. And I wouldn't say that he's hugely compassionate, and he certainly doesn't inspire great fear. He doesn't have much willpower, not really. He's not really an avarice person. Yes, he is a little overweight, but that's mainly just due to the fact that he likes food and he's a bit lazy. He's not really got a large amount of greed about him. He's not continually trying to get more. And as for life, death and shame, none of these really seem right either. Now he has displayed anger at times. In fact, when he gets superpowers, he uses them to set someone in school on fire because they once insulted him a very long time ago. Well, burn for it! <laughs> which is pretty petty and vengeful, which does make sense for the Red Lantern Corps. But this moment wasn't really typical of his personality, especially considering this was a what if type of episode, where they just abandon whatever a character was normally like in lieu of whatever they need for that episode. And taking all of that into account, the only Lantern Corps that I can see him being in is Hope because he's a happy idiot who doesn't seem to realize how bleak the world really is. And he goes on happy regardless and doesn't really give in to despair. And though he isn't a typical candidate for this Lance and Core, out of all the options that are available, this one is probably the best match for him. So his Lance and Core has to be hope purely out of default because there just isn't a better option in the emotions available. Brian. Now some might wonder if a dog is able to wield a power ring. And the answer is yes. Any sentient creature can use one of them if they qualify for the emotional attachment that powers it. Though with that being said, Brian is a little difficult to place. Willpower seems unlikely, as does hope or love. Now on the surface, compassion does seem possible. And though Brian does display some here and there, let's be honest, the compassion that he does show seems to be more about looking good to others than actually caring about people, and it's superficial at best. No, the emotion that I think he has the most of is rage. Brian has a lot of anger. He's angry at politics, at people, and at the world in general. He is very easily offended, and small things can really piss him off, such as Stewie pronouncing Cool Whip with a heavy H, or having to say over when he's finished talking on the radio. See the wire. You see the wire what? Over. Over! He does try to keep his temper in check, and for the most part, he does actually succeed. But what gives it away is that he flies off the handle so easily over such minor things. And you don't do that unless you've got a lot of pent up anger inside of you. And so I think Rage is the ring that he would most relate to and has the best chance of wielding. And that is the Lantern Core choices for the Family Guy's main cast. Do you agree with my choices? Or do you think they belong in different Lantern Cores entirely? Be sure to let us know in the comments, along with who you want the next Lantern Core video to be about. And I'd just like to say a quick thank you to those who made this video possible by donating to the Needle Mouse Productions page on Patreon. And as always, thanks for watching, and feel free to subscribe, share, like, and comment.